Thank you, Madam President, ladies and gentlemen of the Senate. Colleagues, here's a short update on a serious problem with a deadline. Governor Brad said's abrupt decision to close the Iowa Juvenile Home created a number of problems. It's the legislature's job to solve those problems. The Senate has passed legislation on this issue. The House has not taken up that legislation. However, we've heard from Speaker Paulson that they would like to do something in their budget. So we need to settle this issue through the budget process. And I'm hoping that both uh, Representative Fisher and Speaker Paulson will work with us on that. This is an important, difficult social issue. It may not affect very many people directly, but it matters a great deal to the Iowa boys and girls in need of serious help, to their families, and to all our communities. Here's our problem. We need some information. We've asked for the information, and we haven't got a response yet. Specifically, we need to know what Governor Brand said and his administration have done, are doing, and are planning to do regarding this issue. We've heard nothing. On January 15th, the Nonpartisan Legislative Service Agency, LSA, sent a confidential, uh, sent a confidential request of the on the legislature's behalf to the Iowa Department of Human Services. The LSA request asked for information about the Brandstead administration's plan for the care of Iowa's most troubled youth and girls. LSA, as you know, is the legislation, uh, legislators' information gathering agency. LSA is approved to handle all sorts of documents, including confidential materials. In fact, LSA can subpoena records if legal action is required. The Bradenstead administration received the LSA request two and a half months ago. Two and a half months ago. A little bit more about secrecy, I guess. The Bradenstead administration should respond. We've heard nothing. In summary, we need this information to address a serious issue because the session won't end until we reach some sort of an agreement on what we do with these uh, youth of Iowa. Thank you, Madam President.